A square has four reflectional symmetries. The line of a reflectional symmetry cuts the square into two pieces which are interchanged by that reflection. Placing a mirror on any line of reflectional symmetry generates the square from one of these two pieces. In other words, a single reflection generates a group of order two. Reflection reverses sense. And the image of a six is an improper six. Two mirrors set on perpendicular lines of symmetry generate the square from one quarter of the square. Perpendicular reflections generate a group of order four consisting of the identity, two reflections, and their product. This product as a half turn, which preserves sense. Two mirrors set on lines of symmetry intersecting at angle pi over four generate the square from one eighth of the square. Two such reflections generate a group of order eight, the complete group of symmetries of the square. In space, the cube is the analog of the square. In spite of its apparent simplicity, the cube is rich with symmetry. Midway between parallel faces, there's a plane of symmetry. There are three such planes. The sections of the cube by planes of symmetry can be exhibited using mirrors in place of the planes. A single reflection generates a group of order two. Two perpendicular reflections generate a group of order four. Three mutually perpendicular reflections generate a group of order eight. There's also a plane of symmetry through each pair of opposite edges of the cube. There are six such planes. So, there are three planes parallel to faces There are six planes through opposite edges. Altogether, nine planes of reflectional symmetry. These nine planes dissect the cube into 48 congruent regions called orthoschemes. 
The name orthoscheme is appropriate because three of its non-concurrent edges are mutually orthogonal and all four of its faces are right triangles. When the three faces which meet at the center of the cube are replaced by mirrors, the resulting configuration is called an octahedral kaleidoscope. The orthoscheme and its images in the kaleidoscope make up the cube, showing that these three reflections generate a group of order 48, the complete group of symmetries of the cube. Planes of symmetry of the cube intersect in lines which pass through the center of the cube. These lines are the axes of rotational symmetry of the cube. Six of the axes pass through midpoints of opposite edges. Three pass through centers of opposite faces. And four pass through opposite vertices. The mirrors of the octahedral kaleidoscope intersect in pairs at angles pi over two, pi over three, and pi over four. Reflections in perpendicular mirrors generate a dihedral group of order four. The line of intersection of these mirrors is the axis of a rotation of period two. This rotation is the product of the two generating reflections. Where the angle is pi over three, the reflections generate a group of order six. Their product is a rotation of period three. Where the angle is pi over four, the two reflections generate a group of order eight. The product of the reflections is a rotation of period four. and the line of intersection of the mirrors is the axis of this quarter turn. Thus the rotational symmetries of the cube are products of pairs of reflectional symmetries. And the cube is seen to have fourfold axes, three of these, twofold axes, six of these. And threefold axes, four of these.
With every cube is associated a regular octahedron. There's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the edges of the cube and the edges of the octahedron. Corresponding edges are perpendicular and they bisect each other. Polyhedra related in this way are called reciprocal. Reciprocal polyhedra have the same group of symmetries. They have the same planes of symmetry and the same axes of symmetry. The nine planes of symmetry meet a concentric sphere in great circles, producing a map consisting of 48 spherical triangles. This map and the cube and the octahedron all have the same group of symmetries. Thank you.